Hello, welcome to Sandlot Cards. This is our uh, officially first video, and what we're going to do is something a lot of fun. We bought some 1984 Topps baseball vending boxes. Um, these are a lot of fun to open. You get some, you know, some of the old time stars or more modern stars, I guess, if you're talking uh, vintage, old time stars would be Mantle and, and uh, Maze and Aaron, etc. But in these boxes, you get a lot of good players. Um, the key cards being the Daryl Strawberry rookie, very popular card back in '84, and Don Mattingly being the key card to this set. And then you also get some cards of uh, other Hall of Famers from early in their career. Uh, that you'd get the second year card of Gwen, uh, Tony Gwen, Wade Boggs, and Ryan Sandberg. And you also get some nice cards like the you know Cal Ripken and some of the other Hall of Famers like. Pete Rose and Nolan Ryan. You might find a George Breton here. Um, a lot of good cards. This is actually our second video. My first one didn't turn out too well, so I haven't posted it yet. It was a break of a 1983 vending box. Um, if these turn out to be widely viewed, then I'll put that 83 video up there just to show you um, what I got in it. It was a great box. I got all three key cards. I got the Gwen rookie, got the Boggs rookie, and got the Sandberg rookie. They're all on my website, um, Sandlot Cards, where you can purchase them. They're great, great quality cards come out of these vending boxes, which is why I like to break them. So I'm going to open one now, and I'll make another video with the second one if everything goes well. So let's move one out of the way, and let's see what we get out of this box. So first thing, if you want to buy a vending box, make sure you buy from a reputable dealer, one who hasn't searched the box. You know, there are good dealers out there you, you can trust and, and know that they won't search the box. You know, that's that's the number one key. Um, the second thing is, let me give you a little, little lesson here, what to look for in a vending box. When you open it, it'll be tightly packed. It'll be hard to pull the cards out. You probably get, the end cards might be a little damaged. But what you're looking for in this, and we'll see how it turns out in this video, but you'll see a ribbed look. This is from how they packed them. Um, once you pull the cards out and look at them, you won't be able to duplicate this ribbing. When you're done searching them, you'll probably see, like we have a white tablecloth here, you'll see some card shavings on the tablecloth. That means that, you know, we know this box wasn't searched. There'll be at least 500 cards in here. I think the last one I opened had more than 500. I think it was 510 cards. Um, so, let's go. Let's have some fun. I'll try to make this quick. We're just looking for the key cards. Like I said, the end cards are usually damaged. These are hard to pull out. You know, this one's actually not too bad, but I wouldn't list it on my website because it's got a dinged corner. Um, Al Williams, I won't go through every card, but just to give you a, an idea of what they look like or to jog your memory a little bit if you haven't looked at these in a while. It's a fun set. Um, easy to complete. I recommend buying vending boxes. Um, if you want to start a set, buy one or two. You'll get most of the set. What I'll do on my website, I'll to give an indication of how many you know if i did get a complete set out of these two vending boxes i imagine will be a few cards short um, okay i'm not too worried about the end card like i said the they're usually damaged this one here is a fred lynn and it's actually in pretty nice condition a small ding there you know just to give you another look then i'll flip through these quickly see if we get the uh strawberry or the mattingly that'd be pretty cool to see on the video I'll leave this here so you can see it Checklist card. These demand a little bit of a premium. Um, I'll just fly through these pretty quick. But you'll notice these cards in vending boxes are in you know great condition. It's just beautiful. In '84, they had all-star cards. Um, here's a sample of one. Steve Carlton, another Hall of Famer. Um, what I'll do, I'll put these on my website. I'll list them. It. I'll just call them near mint, mint, or near mint better. Um, you can be assured you're going to get cards with, you know, sharp corners. The centering is usually good on this year. There might be a few that are off-center. None of the keys there in that stack, but let's keep going. Ron Say, another solid player. He was with the Cubs back then. So here's one that's off-center. Um, so you will come across those. We won't put that on the website. You know, I'll use it to cushion the mail when I send it. I'll put it on top so if anything happens in the mailing, you know, there's another off-center card. We'll pull that out. Nothing good. 
Let's see if we find the key cards here. Big McBride, Billy Sample, Tommy Lasorda, he was managing the Dodgers, Hall of Fame manager. There's Eddie Murray, so he was a rookie in 78, so this is his sixth year card. Still relatively early in his career, another all-star. Let's fly through these. Dave Winfield when he was with the Yankees, another great player. Andre Dawson just got elected to the Hall of Fame this year. That'll be up on the website. Thing about Sandlot cards, I will list all these cards. Another checklist. Mike Schmidt All-Star. Getting a lot of All-Stars here. Um, list all these cards on the website for sale. You can purchase them online. If you have any questions or concerns, you know, just email us. There's a link on our website. It's uh, service at sandlotcards.com. We're relatively new, um, but we're filling orders. You know, I think people are happy, and you know we're building our inventory all the time. So if you don't see what you're looking for now, it may be there down the line. But we take the time to sort these commons, put them online, so you have a chance to purchase them. Uh, here's a league, league leaders card. They did AL and NL on the same card. These are leading firemen, Dan Quisenberry and Al Holland. Let's see what else we get here. Let's get some exciting players. Highlights cards, pitchers who threw no hitters that year, nice cards. And fly through here, my last video, the one I didn't post, another stolen base leaders, Ricky Henderson and Tim Raines. Um, my last video, the quality wasn't too good, and it's a shame, it was the first one I shot, didn't test it, but I did get the three key cards, they're on my website. Okay, no keys in this one. And if I don't get them here, I should get, you know, you'd expect to get, if there's three or four keys in a set, you'd expect to get two or three of them in a vending box. Um, sometimes you get lucky and get them all. Let's get through these a little quicker. My last video, like I said, it was 15 minutes long. I want to keep this one shorter. Keep your attention. Again, no one exciting yet. Each team also had their leaders, individual leaders cards. So you had Pedro Guerrero and Bob Welsh for the uh, Dodgers. Get that a little closer. Nothing exciting. Fernando Valenzuela, early card in his career. So Mike Schmidt. There we get a few cool players. Oh, here's a Tony Gwynn off center. That's a shame. Would have been a nice card. I don't think I'll be listing that one. Keep getting through these. That Gwen hurt, but hey, that's what happens. I got another box, maybe I'll get another Gwen. Alright. Bruce Suter, Andre Thornton, great names. Dave Parker, name from the Pirates. We are family. Cecil Cooper. Leon Durham. Great names. Brings back memories. Our team leaders. Jim Rice. Andre Dawson. This his card. Looks pretty good. We'll uh, put him on the site. Tommy John. You know. 